just came back from FedEx. I got more snakes. You, you could never have enough snakes. Never. These I got from Morph Market. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. Um, I got more snakes. Just came from FedEx. Hope everybody's having a good day like I am. Um, so we're going to be doing an unboxing video of two pairs of snakes I ordered and you don't want to miss it so stay tuned. Alright so box number one. Start the drum roll. Let's see what we got here. This never gets old. I always get excited when I'm opening these boxes. It's just like the first time. Alright. This actually came in from uh, New York, that's my hometown, from a breeder named Mike Panici. I hope I'm saying his name right. And these are the ones that I got at Morph Market, from Morph Market. So, got an invoice here basically explaining the date that the babies were hatched and the feeding schedule with their genetics, 2020. That's when these were born. Okay. So these are the two right here. And it's still actually pretty cold. They had got a nice ice pack. Remember, uh, snakes could sustain a cold temperature as long as it doesn't get too cold, which obviously this won't. Um, you know, when we brumate them, they're in the low 50s. So it's better to be a little cool than too hot. So I'll show you what I got. So this is a pear and this is the male. These were actually hatched two months ago. If I can get this one open, he, he sealed it real well. He put tape around it, make sure they don't escape. Sometimes these deli cups could actually pry open, so that was a pretty good, good choice that he put tape on these. Okay. See if I get them out of the paper towel. Oh man, these are beautiful. Now this is an extreme reverse Okatee to Sarah. Extreme reverse Okatee to Sarah. I don't know how well the camera's picking it up. So now for the female, and um, Mike actually produced these himself, but he got the original parents from Steve Roylance, who's actually a well-known corn snake breeder. And there's the female. Take her out. So they have regular reverse oka tees and then they have the extremes. The extremes are just a little bit more bold in uh, color and pattern.
So when I got back home from Daytona, look what I found. I've been trying to breed mice for a couple of months now. I guess the girl that I have now is mature. So my first clutch of pinkies. And I'll be expanding my um, mice collection so I could produce more. But um, that's my first right there. I just want to give you guys a quick update of how my pinkies are coming along. Now that's only one week. There were little pinkies last week. Now they're fuzzy, walking around. I'm going to hold some of those back for future breeders so I can produce more. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on how fast they actually grow. That's pretty amazing. I just washed my hands. Always like washing my hands between touching snakes. Prevent any diseases from possibly transferring. Alright. Box number two. Now with the story with this is there's a breeder on Facebook that I know and um, he was actually looking to downsize and um, he actually bred these. These are 2020 babies, but he was looking to downsize his collection and um, I got lucky that these were some of the snakes that he wanted to um, sell. This is a snake that I've been looking for for a while. So let me show you what it is nice crypto pack keep everything nice and cool oh yeah okay so he didn't he didn't sex them on the deli cup so I'm gonna have to look at some photos or just sex them myself. Okay. I should be able to tell from the photos, so. This is what you call scissors crossing, California king snake. Nice clean black with a white stripe. This is one of the snakes I've been looking for for a while, hard to find. All right, so off camera, I just actually checked my pictures, and this one is the male, this one's the female. The female's the one that I, I just showed you. So now let's check the male out. Guys, these aren't my photos, but I just wanted to show you the different variations of the scissors crossing. And these come from South California, specifically in the San Diego region, but all beautiful snakes. Alright guys, so something that I wanted to talk about is quarantining your animals. Can you imagine bringing a sick animal home, putting it in your rack system, and these are highly contagious diseases, some of them, and they can spread to all your snakes. You won't know which snakes have them, you might have to treat them all, it's just going to be a mess. So to play it safe, 
You quarantine your animals, put them in a separate bin like these for about three weeks to a month. And the easy part about it is it's just a water cup, paper towel, that's it. You don't need any fancy bedding like Aspen or anything, just paper towel. So you can spot anything that doesn't look right. It's better to play it safe than sorry. So now I'm just putting them in their quarantine bins. There you go. Man, those were some nice snakes, nice additions to the collection. Um, I thank you guys for the support. Please keep subscribing, leaving comments if you wanna see some cool snakes. For the next two weeks, check out my, my channel on Tuesdays. I'm gonna have an unboxing video next Tuesday. I got a shipment coming in. And then the following Tuesday, I got another snake unboxing video coming up. I got a lot of shipments coming in. So guys, just be safe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.